Hey guys, what's up? Bisected Tron here from One Hive Gazette here with my next war recap video. And uh, this one is against Academ Academia Tronos. Um, kind of similar to the war before. They uh, used the majority of their attacks and um, kind of the typical stuff. There were a few three star uh, attempts, but mostly just kind of the two star uh, game. And as far as uh, what we did, um, Typical war, obviously going for three stars, I think, so I'm not too worried about getting two stars up there, but uh, left one Town Hall 9, 99%, uh, very close, uh, but good war uh, to both sides, and um, this one I want to show some Town Hall 8s, because in the arranged war coming up, it's going to be mostly uh, 10s and 9s, I think even a few 11s, so a pretty heavy-weighted war, um, and because of that, I want to get some Town Hall 8s out. Um, I'm going to show one Town Hall 9, though, just because I thought it was a cool attack, and then we'll go ahead and get into uh, the Town Hall 8 attacks, because I have quite a few to show. Um, we're looking at G-Wag. seems like we uh, see him a lot on the channel, but uh, anyway, he's coming in here with a Penta La Luna attack, basically. Five Lava Hounds, 16 Loons, and then um, just his heroes to take out the Air Defense and the Queen. And I like that because the queen will easily hop that wall and the air defense is right there, so it doesn't even need a golem. And uh, a lot of people will bring a golem because it's kind of a standard thing to do, but doesn't need it. Now, the thing is right here, the queen, for whatever reason, um, just ends up in the compartment over to the right there. He probably should have had the jump spell connecting that compartment. I guess he wanted to make sure that the um, king ran up to the uh, air defense after he took the queen out, but it didn't work out as planned and uh, it actually ended up hurting him. Now the queen does step up right here, pops the ability, she takes out the air defense and the enemy queen. Now obviously there's still CC troops to deal with, but notice that he has two poison spells, and the two poison spells can take out any CC troops except a golem or a lava hound, but a golem and a lava hound would not do anything against an air attack, so um, anything that would be a threat he has the two poisons for, and obviously it's a dragon, so um, it's a threat to his La Luna attack, but two poisons will kill it, so it drops the two poisons down and gets it taken out. So um, I'm not sure if he was thinking that ahead of time, like knowing that he didn't need to kill the CC troops, just had to lure them out, and then he could poison them if he needed to. Um, but whatever whatever the reason, it, it worked out very nicely and didn't need his queen to take out that dragon. Uh, anyway, coming in with all five Lava Hounds, or four of them at least on the front side, um, dropping down a Haste, a Rage, um, just kind of, not really a spam, but just targeted balloons across this entire side of the base, um, letting everything work its way up. The air defenses are just going down, so the pathing wasn't great, but still has a few Lava Hounds left and comes in with the third one in just a moment. I think it could have been a little bit earlier on this third one. Uh, well, actually, I guess it worked out okay. You can see the Tesla farm is kind of locking onto the balloons here, at least uh, a few of those Teslas. There's the Wizard Tower, the Archer Tower, um, a lot of damage in the area, and the balloons start going down pretty quickly. Uh, but still has that max Lava Hound up tanking, and as soon as it busts, there's some balloons converging on the area, and they hop over and get it taken out. Has a few more balloons for the back end of the base. You can see here, nothing left to tank for these balloons, but luckily that Expo had very little hit points left, uh, so one balloon crash and it goes down, and um, it's up to these last few balloons. Um, they target that cannon first, but they do make their way over and get that Archer Tower taken out. Uh, so it works out in the end, and G-Wag gets the three stars. So nice job. Um, I like bringing the fifth Lava Hound, because I think it really made the difference. Um, otherwise, this might have been a uh, two-star, high percentage two-star. So a uh, nice attack. All right, let's go to the eights now. Um, have a few to show. Starting off with number 28. And uh, here we are. Uh, Vanilla Thunder taking on 28. And um, this is probably a base that you guys see a lot, or at least variations of it in your wars. Um, kind of that big space next to the town hall, possible Tesla giant bomb spots, and um, Vanilla Thunder does a very nice job, so we'll fast forward just because it's just a lure and then the double poison, which we've seen a million times. Uh, so that gets the uh, Dragon Balloon taken out, then just comes in with a few hogs on each one of these point defense, dropping the heals in great places. You can see uh, the middle hogs aren't taking any damage, so they don't need to be in a heal. But the ones making their way through on the side by those mortars um, need the heals, giant bombs going off. Just um, not putting all his eggs in one basket, I guess you could say. Yeah, a lot of hogs do uh, get destroyed by that giant bomb, but has so many that he doesn't even need that big group. 
so I guess just coming at it from many different angles, uh, making sure that one explosion is not going to kill all of his hogs, and just kind of is able to bypass, I think, even one of the bombs hasn't even been triggered. So uh, gets two of the bombs going off, but has three heals, you know, I don't know, 40 hogs, however many he had. So uh, really, really um, didn't have to worry about losing a group of hogs, just couldn't, uh, like I said, put all his eggs in one basket and invest them all into one group going through the base. Uh, besides that, as long as they're spread out, uh, he has more than enough to get the job done. So awesome attack from the Thunder. Um, very quick, too. That was, I think, went by fast. Um, look, this is a little bit of a better base. It's kind of the uh, anti-2 slash 3 star base where it has the double giant bomb spots. They're, you know, solid locations. Um, but it, it also has... <clears throat> uh, it also has the town hall in the middle, so not not like hardcore anti three star, but a pretty solid base. And when that happens, it makes it a little bit more difficult to just use uh, mass hog attack. Uh, so what mass um, meso scale vortex does is um, lures out the CC, then quakes it open, and then he's going to bring in some valks. Noticing that all those air defenses are kind of clumped up, has a few hogs even to take out that third air defense, and then just uses looms on the rest. So very nice. Um, obviously no poison, so just does the old-fashioned uh, kill with the barbs and um, wizards. Dropping a golem down the tank, creating a nice wide funnel for those Valks. He has uh, all th the max ones in the CC, um, so five Valks in total, I believe. Uh, drops down the king, then here come the Valks, everything moving in nicely. Uh, this is going to make the way into the base, has a heal for them as well. And what I like about the 11 hogs is... He's deploying it in a spot on the base where they're not going to get blown up by giant bombs, at least not before they take out that air defense. And the air defense is the goal, so doesn't have to worry about giant bombs. They're just going to path right into it. Obviously, the kill squad will take out that um, air defense, which the first one, which will negate any giant bombs in the area. So hogs just path right into that wizard tower, then make their way up north and take out uh, that air defense up there. So it works out very nicely here. Always troops getting the benefit of one heal. Always great to see that the more troops in the spell you get, the better the spell works out for you. And then this comes in with balloons on this side. Uh, it looks like the giant bombs were probably between the mortar and the uh, the air sweeper in case I missed something. Um, yep, there they go. Uh, so very nice on the balloons there. No air defense covering that area, so it doesn't need to bring hogs through there. Can just drop some loons and get that spot taken out. And even though his hogs are destroyed, has the balloons, has the kill squad still up. Uh, so no problem with cleanup troops. Easily gets the three star. Um, great job by Mesoscale Vortex. All right, get this taken care of. And then we're going to take a look at one more. I tried to get as many uh, Town Hall 8 attacks as I could. Uh, but, you know, some of the bases weren't the best. So we want to try to bring the best uh, quality attacks. Um, we're looking at Holy Buck. Lee, um, taking on the number 34, and this base actually I believe was failed on, like the first attacker got maybe one or two stars, because I remember that one weird double giant bomb set uh, was a huge surprise, like no way to ever guess someone would put it there, obviously a very stupid place to put it, because if you know where it is, uh, you can do just what a holy buck does and just drop down some hogs and get it triggered and get the sea sealer, uh, but it screwed up the first attacker because like I think all their hogs passed over that at the end and just got dis demolished. But anyway, uh, very easy on the cleanup. Just drops down the hogs. Uh, double poison on the dragon. Standard stuff. And then knows there's only one giant bomb left in the base. I believe it's right up top there, so the hogs are going to be healed up for it. So as it goes off, no hogs are pretty much lost. Then this comes into the rest of the base here, kind of doing a surgical deployment. Um, but keeping the hogs in pretty solid groups, the space is pretty compact, so you don't want to spread out the hogs too much. You want them all getting in those heal spells, and uh, you can see right here the the main groups in the heal spell uh, drops in the CC of level five hogs just to help clean things up, and has that last heal spell for those last few defenses. So um, another awesome attack, uh, good cleanup I guess. Made it easy with with the double giant bomb set being there, but. Um, uh, very fun attack to watch, so we'll fast forward as the hogs turn around, take out the king and the skellies. But that'll do it for this one. I you know, wanted to get some Town Hall 8 attacks out there, so I apologize if you were looking for for the 9s or 10s. Didn't have a whole lot of that, but um, guaranteed there's going to be a lot of coverage from this arranged matchup. Uh, let me go ahead and show it. 
uh, we just got matched up with Dark Looters. So uh, part of the Fair Play War community, always fun having a ranged war with one of those types of clans. And um, yeah, so tomorrow we'll get this thing kicked off and hopefully I'll have some you know live attacks, uh, recaps, various stuff like that. I'll use the attacks as much as I can because uh, it seems to be a pretty heavily weighted war. So should have some good Town Hall 10 action uh, as well as Town Hall 9. So yeah. That'll do it for this recap, though, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.